Hi Aries, welcome to your January tarot forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, we're going to take a look at the current energies around you. So we're going to take whatever comes out here. It could be love, it could be general. Whatever the energies are, however they flow, that's what your messages are. So welcome Aries. So this is for January, but I do consider all my readings timeless. So you probably will see this before January. And if you'd like to go back and watch previous uh, readings, you can check the description box below. All your playlists are below also. And there's tons of information down there, uh, personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram, um, how to, you know, all kind of stuff, personal reading information. Uh, so tons of stuff down there. So eerie. So we're going to look at uh, your energy and then we'll do a tarot spread on that energy. Then we'll get some closing messages with that oracle. We'll get some opening messages with this oracle. See what's going on for you, Aries, at this time. And my candle just went out. Oh, well. So what do we have for Aries at this time? This is Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. So whatever comes out here, if you don't recognize, um, resonate <laughs> with this part, totally fine. So we have Saturn. So this Capricorn energy. So you could have a uh, Capricorn around you or have Capricorn in your chart. If not, it just could be the Saturn energy, which that Saturn energy is about ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And now the uh, Saturn Capricorn. Capricorn does represent the devil in the tarot, which is about, you know, kind of like, Sometimes it can be toxic energy, or it can be negative thinking, doubts, fears, uh, obsessions, addictions, things of that nature. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. And I do notice Saturn is 19, which added together is 10, which is about endings. But 1, 10 equals 1, which is about a new beginning. So let's see what your opening message is, Aries. What is the opening? And you are 1, which is that new beginning. So I don't know. We'll see. Aries, what is the opening message for Aries? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Just one, what, there we are. New life, wow. <laughs> New life. And nine and three is 12, which is three. So you may be working on a new life here because three is about work, putting in the dedica dedicated effort and uh, working, uh, working on something. So learning something new sometimes too also. I really don't think I need to read from the book with that, but let me just see what this has to say. 39. Let's see. Breath of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. So, and as I said, new begin, you know, ending and new beginning, new life comes out. So, wow. So let's see what your energy is like. What is your energy like? Maybe you need to create a new life for yourself. Oh, this wanted to flip over here. Co-create. Wow. So this is co-creating with other people, co-creating with the universe. 40, which is four, which is about stability, basis, foundation. Wow. So let's see. 40, co-create. Creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation. So manifesting a new life, are we? Maybe leaving toxic energies and having a new beginning for yourself. And we have clean it up, 21, which is three again. About working to clean up, clean things up, clean your life up maybe. Clean up your situation, you know, creating a new life. Cleaning up that past energy. Cutting things and get rid of, you know, getting rid of things that no longer serve you. Wow. All right. So let's get some. So we got three, three, four. Okay, so I feel like you're working on your stability, you're working on your foundation, <coughs> working on a new plan, a new path, a new way, a new life. Wow. New ideas, fresh ideas, cleaning up everything of the past and just moving on and moving forward. All right, Aries. Aries, okay, why is Aries in this energy spirit, please? Thank you so much. Why is Aries in this energy? Wow. 
And new, 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 new. We got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Holy crap. Truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you with the Ace, the Sword of Victory and Success. You know, telling it like it is and not taking any, be, you know, BS having that awakening, that epiphany. And here's your passionate, fiery new beginning, transformation with the butterfly. Exciting, co-creating. This can be exciting new ideas, projects that you're very passionate about, new endeavors. Passionate, fiery, exciting new beginning of some kind based on truth and clarity. So you're creating a new life, cleaning up everything. Yeah, cleaning up this energy of the past, of heartache, pain, sorrow, um, just, you know, and that could be those toxic energies, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily, necessarily be another person, it can just be just energies in general. Two of Wands, making plans, decisions for your future, that's that fire energy, you know, so making plans and decisions, I feel, and moving away from yeah, King of Swords, standing in your truth, standing in your power, standing as the queen, uh, King of Swords. King or Queen, doesn't matter. Again, using that sword to cut away all that BS that hurt your heart, whatever it may be, whether it's friends, family, work, um, a love relationship, whatever, just negative energies, just cutting all that BS away, transforming, new beginning, new beginning. Standing as the king or queen of swords, truth, clarity, cutting away, not taking any BS, telling it like it is. Wow. All right. Co-creating, creating a new life, cleaning up all the BS in your life. Wow. Okay. So let's get a couple more cards. Justice in the tower. Wow. So again, the tower could be that negative energy. Could have been something explosive. It could have been um, an argument, a fight, a blow up, something breaking down, something coming to an end. Justice here could be something in the court system. If not, you're just doing what's fair, just, and balanced for you moving forward. I think, you know, and this could be like an epiphany too, or a surprise. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It, you could have just had this big realization and epiphany. You know, I need to move on and create a new life for myself. And it could be, come as a surprise to everybody. I'm finally doing what's moral, just, and right for me. And if that's not the case, you could just be, it could be something, I mean, it could be divorce. It could be uh, something in the court or justice system or something like that. But let's get a couple more energies here. That's too many. Too many. A couple more energies here. Wow. So taking a leap of faith now. Taking a leap of faith, starting over, resetting at zero with the full energy, trusting everything will be fine, you know everything will be fine, and you're leaping into your Ten of Cups here to total happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way. So whatever you're moving on from, whatever new life you're creating for yourself, you're taking that risk, you're taking that jump, that leap, and you're going to leap right into your Ten of Cups. Wow. Leaping right into your Ten of Cups, and I think I'm going to title it that. Leaping into your Ten of Cups energy. It could be with another person or it could just be your life in general because you're cleaning up all the crap in your life and you're just moving on and you're creating like clean, clear energy for yourself and you're just very fiery and passionate now. Full of just truth and clarity. Wow, good for you, Aries. All right, so some of you could have moved, moved also. Because you do see the two of wands here making plans, decisions for the future. And they do have the world in their hand. And the world can be about travel. <clears throat> so maybe, you know, some of you have moved. All right, so let's get your advice. So we've got the two of pentacles energy. So, you know, it's juggling things around, trying to balance energies out. So let's get one more for your advice. And the seven of swords. So... There's that like sneaky energy, like I just have to get away kind of energy, sneaky, deceitful energy, or just needing to get away, sneak away. So let's get a couple clarifiers on this. That's your advice. So, oh, all right. So why is this energy here for the advice for Aries? The Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of the Year, 
fate, destiny, timing, things going in a better direction, things going in your favor. In the Now we got the three of wands. So there could be a period of waiting here uh, before you set off on this journey. You know, maybe you have to clean everything up. And if it's got something to do with justice there, you have to make sure that's all cleaned up and like gone before you can probably jump ahead in this new journey. But it's divinely guided for you here with the wheel. So, you know, you may be juggling things around right now. Um, feeling like, oh, I just can't wait. I got to sneak away. Maybe you feel like you need to sneak away. Um, but if you do, I think it's telling you, you know, while you balance your energies out, if you have that energy of, I just got to get away, sneak away, uh, may not be the right time to do that because I feel like you have to wait before you can venture out. But the wheel is here to say that things will be going in your favor. So if you are waiting for something in the justice system, I think it'll go in your favor. Okay. And you may be juggling around right now. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know uh, if it'll go in my favor, if that's the case, but I think it will. And the Seven of Swords can be self-deceit, like maybe you're deceiving yourself, like juggling around too many like scenarios in your head. You know, you need to like get out of that energy. All right, so let's get your possible outcome for you here, Aries. Nine of Swords, so yeah, and as I said, that the Nine of Swords comes out. Stress, fear, worry, anxiety, uh, can't sleep at night, nervousness energy. Oh boy, so let's see, let's get a couple more here. The moon. So yeah, not knowing what's going to happen here with the moon energy it can be about secrets or, you know, following your intuition or having very deep feelings about this and not seeing clearly how things may play out. And that's why you have this nervous energy. The chariot. So you will be moving forward with success and victory here. Very balanced energy. So you have the two pentacles there of trying to balance your energy. But your outcome here, clarifying this energy, is moving forward with success, victory, um, very go-getter kind of energy. So you will be moving forward. So, you know, the outcome is you will be moving forward, but you just need to get out of this energy of the stress, fear, and worry of the outcome with the moon energy because you can't see it clearly yet. But I think things will be going in your favor, and you will be able to move forward victoriously. So I don't think you really have to worry. So let's see. The Knight of Cups, so moving forward in a loving, compassionate energy, feeling peace, harmony. The Five of Wands, yeah, no longer in reverse, so no longer feeling conflicted from within or having conflict around you. Eight of Swords, so there's that mental blockage, but there's you cutting away that energy with the Page of Swords, like finally getting out of that mental blockage, you know, uh, honest communication coming in of some kind here which enables you to close out a cycle and start a new cycle for yourself with the world. And I had just felt like the world, I had seen the world in the two of wands over here, and which is about travel. So some of you could have moved or are traveling and now being much more balanced. I said going from imbalanced to balanced with the chariot and now here's the balanced energy. And the justice system is also about fear, just balance, honesty, truth, truth, moving forward moving forward in a very fast rate here in the future, being very balanced as with the chariot. New uh, cycle, cycles closing, having that truth and clarity come to you and being able to eliminate this blockage of having a conflict from within and moving forward in peace, harmony, compassionate, loving energy. So for the signs, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Earth energy here. Um, in fixed signs, I'm not sure the fixed and we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aries. We have Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let me see here. Um, let me see. Libra, Cancer, Aquarius. So those signs mean anything. They may not. Capricorn over there. So they may not mean anything, but I know people like to know the signs. So those are the sign major signs I see. Although we do really have all the signs here so let's see let's get some closing messages for you closing messages for you closing messages for you 
Aries. So I do ask Aries, if you like my energy and how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, please hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do four readings a month for every sign. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading who's coming towards you. I do a tarot forecast like this. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. I do a spiritual reading any month, uh, every month. Sometimes it's an angel reading, a spirit message reading, depending on what I feel like doing. And I started a new series, which is weekly uh, element energy reading. So if you're interested in all that, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel in whichever way you supported, whether you subscribed or tipped or donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So let's see what your messages are. We got two here. So we got standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. Exactly. So you're standing firm here, creating your new life. Receiving from angels, shimmering wings of angels, embrace me with love. So you're protected by angels. They're around you, protect, protecting you, uh, trying to show you the way, the light. All right, so let's see. Let's see if there's another one for Aries. Dwelling in truth. I stand in the light of truth. And we have all that energy here with the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Um we had another swords here but a lot of sword energy but you are dwelling in truth here moving forward and we have embracing the future i step into the future with an open heart exactly and i feel like you're cleaning up all the bs in your life and you're moving forward uh in the probably in the coming new year embracing the future and a whole new way of living in truth clarity and by doing this you're jumping and you're leaping right into your ten of cups energy wow Aries, cleaning up all that toxic bullshit, I feel like. Wow, Aries, so good luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.